Hello there, thank you for tuning in to this video about a retro Casio LED projector that I'm fixing and I'm fixing it by changing over the DMD board so I have to take this apart to get to the, D the DMD board. The chip itself is beginning to fail because it has some spots appearing on the um, screen so once these start they tend to just cascade across the whole screen and um, just makes the viewing experience um, less enjoyable. So um, what I've been able to do is source a se second projector, which I'm going to swap the DMD board and chip from because that doesn't have any spots. Uh, the reason why I'm swapping it over is because the lamp on that and the optics aren't as clear, so they have a bit of a taint to them, and I figure it's probably worth making the change over. So this LED projector um, had quite a um, small number of hours on it, so around 2000. So it's a shame that the chip has failed around just under 2000 hours, but um, I guess maybe it's where I've been running it. So um, maybe there's less ventilation around the machine. So what I do plan to do once I've made the change is to turn the high altitude setting on, which is in the menu, and this should run the fan faster and hopefully will take less uh, well will take more heat away so there'll be less heat on the actual dmd chip now um what you can do actually is just get the chip itself and it's quite easy to pop those off of the actual board um, with your finger now so um that's another option so you don't have to go the full hog and take two machines apart to make one good one so hope you enjoy this video if you do please subscribe. Um, perhaps let me know as well if you think it's worth me opening up the machine again to um, to, to replace the pad which um, is situated between the heat, the heat sink and the DMD chip. So um, I've left the original one in place but um, I've read that it may be wise to use a new compound, um, some CPU Arctic Silver compound to um, make it last a bit longer but let me know what your experience is, is of that and I hope you enjoy the video thank you so here I've got a Casio LED projector it's an XJ M130 model I've had it for quite a few years um, it's got very low hours on the uh, on the actual lamp it's an LED based projector Unfortunately, it's still very bright, but um, I now have some dots appearing on the um, screen, which comes from the DMD chip, I believe. So just to show how many hours are on this machine, we can scroll down in the settings menu, and it's probably here. So the operational info is showing only 1920 hours on the DMD chip and also the LED and the actual bottom of the projector still has a tamper seal that hasn't ever been opened so I presume that it's the original DMD chip and original lamp so it's really unfortunate that it's only got just under 2,000 hours on and it's already gone faulty. So I took out some of the screws on the side previously and some on the back previously so there's quite a few of these little uh, black screws and then you've got three of these special screws to deal with which needed my special new screwdriver so um, I've just taken those out and I think the lid should now be loose. Okay, so it looks like we've got a ribbon connector here. Pop that off. Yeah, and there we go. Wow, pretty, pretty compact. Let's see, we have the power supply on this side is separate and some hefty fans and the interesting thing with the, these projectors is as soon as you power them off 
uh, the fans will turn off straight away. So there's none of this um, projector sort of staying on business for, <laughs> for five minutes while it cools the uh, lamp down. So um, it's pretty well made and it's very solid. So looks like it's going to need a board removal to get into here. So I would actually, maybe not, maybe it's not that. I need to look at this in a little bit more detail. So we've got the wheel there, the colour wheel. I can see that. So it's possibly this side. Um, although this is the fan here. Um, the light source must be coming from here and this is yeah so this is probably the DMD on this side so looks like I shall have to take this board out to get to it not too bad though seen worse so after taking quite a few screws out of here and um, a few of the locators and a couple of screws here and taken off this ribbon cable and there's a speaker connection there you can lift this board out at least not disconnect everything but you can see that this is definitely where the DMD is so there's a connection there directly to the board so this is what I need to now get to and uh, swap out so Hopefully isn't going to be too bad. It's probably one unit that I can unscrew and take out. So I'm going to have a look at that now. On closer inspection, I think all I need to do is take this part out. There's a screw holding it there. And then hopefully I can get to two screws here and just take it out from this side. Because it, it will just be this part. So I don't want to muck about uh, with things where I can obviously get dust into. Um, so that's my plan and then what I'll probably do is I will go and start to use a second projector to do the same thing. I'll take that apart and I'll just get ready to swap these bits between them. Just two screws holding the heat sink to the actual DMD and this is probably the culprit here is maybe the paste has deteriorated over time and um, maybe it wasn't cooling down the chip sufficiently enough, which is why I begin to see the mirrors um, being stuck and then having those pixels that are stuck on. So um, before I do any more on this machine, I'm gonna get the second machine down to this level and um, then I'll be ready just to undo the necessary screws to swap them out. So. That's my plan. Before I take the second one apart, this is the picture quality. Um, to my eyes, it's got a tint. It's got like a pink tint and it seems more dull and harder to kind of focus. So the graphics don't look as sharp. Um, to the video, it probably won't look that much different, but um, to my eyes um, it's definitely not as nice as the other one was so that's why I'm going to swap the chip from this one over. You can see the dust build up in this one it was pretty dusty compared to the other one. So down to the same situation as the other one and um, now to take this one off and swap it for the other one. So just three screws to take this out, one here, one here, and one here. So I'm going to do the same on the other side and swap them over now. Interestingly, the heat sinks between the two are different revisions. So um, the holes look like they line up the same, but um, this one looks to be probably the better one, although this was on the one that had failed. So um, I'm just going to stick back the first revision one on and see how that goes as it was matched to this um, DMD board anyway. 
almost back together. So I'm going to finish putting some of the screws in and the covers on and I shall fire it up and see what happens. So that looks pretty good again now. I'm pleased with that. As we can see on this dark screen here, um, there are no stuck mirrors because we've obviously swapped the DMD chip over. Now I could have opted to put some new paste onto the chip but I didn't want to remove it anymore and I didn't want to contaminate um, the actual surface of it and introduce dust and things to the projector. So uh, for now I'm ha quite happy with that. It's a good um, way to solve my problem I had for only £22. And um, if you enjoyed watching how I replace the board for the Casio XJM130 projector, then please let me know. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe and like the video, I will do some more videos in the future. Thank you for now. Bye bye.